Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. Let's get right into this love reading and see what's going on between you and your person. As always, this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of the messages that come through today may resonate with everyone watching. So please just take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and let the rest go. I love dreaming about you. Your person does love dreaming about you. Do you like dreaming about them as well? Because when they dream about you, they feel that they can connect with you. They feel that they can experience you. Although it's in 5D, they still wake up feeling as if you have been right there next to them. Does it feel that same way to you guys? Because it probably does. But also, as your person dreams about you, they have a better understanding of this connection and this love that's here between you. And also, it's really important that you pay attention to these dreams as well, guys, because you may be able to get really important information from your person through these dreams if you are dreaming about them, about where they are on this path, about rebuilding this connection with you, about when they're going to be ready to reunite with you, about the spiritual growth that they have gone through and experienced so far that will give the two of you a much stronger staying power in your relationship moving forward. I daydream about our future. Okay, dreaming at night, dreaming during the day. This is the theme so far for this reading. Your person does take time throughout the day and think about what the future between the two of you would look like. They think about where you live. They think about the kind of house that you would live in. They think about what the two of you would do on weekends, spending quality time together, having fun, whether it's hanging out with other friends, hanging out with your families, whatever it is, your person is daydreaming about your future. The point here, though, is they see a future with you. They see longevity in this connection with you. They daydream about it during the day and they dream about it at night. So your person has a lot of stuff coming at them from the universe. They're daydreaming. They're dreaming at night. There's divine intervention in this connection between you and your person because the universe is also sending them these dreams. You're the first thing I think about when I wake up. Okay, we can't make this up. This is crazy. In a good way. I do feel, especially if your person has been dreaming about you, you are the first thing that they think about when they wake up. And in that moment where, you know, when we're first waking up and we're kind of lying there and we're just kind of like, Rolling over, stretching, thinking, oh, it's time for me to get up and get on with my day. Your person pauses and allows themselves to have thoughts of you, thinking about what you're doing. Are you waking up at the same time? What are you having for breakfast? What do you have going on in your day? It allows them to really stop and reflect on the times the two of you would wake up in the morning together if you were in a relationship with this person like that before, where you were sharing a bed, sharing your time together that way. But your person allowing themselves to think about you first thing in the morning, from their perspective, it's a great way for them to start their day. And then throughout the day, they carry on with these daydreams and as well at night about the future between the two of you. Can you feel me yearning for you? Your person misses you. They long for you. They miss you. They want to spend time with you. And they do miss so much about you. They miss the way that you laugh. They miss your conversations. They miss looking into your eyes. They miss how you understand them. They miss how nurturing, supportive, caring, and giving you are. They miss the things about you that you would do for them without them asking. Perhaps if they wanted cookies and you knew they wanted cookies, you would make them for them or buy them at the store and bring them home to them. But your person longs for you. They miss you. They are thinking about you all day and all night here, guys. It's creating this sense of them wondering what if, 
What if we'd done things differently? What if I hadn't made so many mistakes? What if I wasn't so fearful? What if I wasn't afraid of this connection? What if I wasn't afraid of this love? What if I'd opened my heart? And yes, I do feel it's even turning to obsessive thinking as well, because your person can't get you off their mind. No matter what they do, they long for you. They miss you. They're getting to the place where they're going to reach out to you. My world fell apart without you. Yeah, see, so they don't like not having you in their life. They're happier with you in their life. And I do feel that their world has fallen apart for some in different ways. Perhaps they're no longer able to focus on their job the way they did when you were together before. Perhaps for some of them as well, they're dealing with depression. Perhaps they're going through a dark night of the soul. Whatever your person is going through, their world has fallen apart without you in their life. You are their light in the darkness. They do not like how it feels not having you in their life because you gave them support. You gave them encouragement. You lifted them up when they were down. You listened to their problems. You helped them work through their problems. That is missing now. And they don't like how it feels not having you in their life, which is what's going to cause them to start doing something about it here. I'm suffering because of my mistakes. Your person recognizes that the problems they caused in this connection between the two of you were their responsibility. They know that their behaviors, their actions, their words, whatever they did, whatever they said, were not the right things to do. And now, because you're no longer part of their world, part of their life, they're suffering. They're really having a hard time dealing with their daily life. And they acknowledge that it's because of their mistakes, their behaviors, not yours. Although perhaps they did try to blame you for a lot of the problems the two of you were having in your connection before. But there is an acknowledgement from them my mistakes, things that they caused, they created to create this separation between you. I have not contacted you because I do not know the right words to say. They will figure those words out. And when they are ready to communicate, they will come and they will tell you exactly what they've been going through, why they acted the way they acted. They'll probably start with an apology. They may be really nervous. And for some, they may even have an outright panic attack before they call you, before they reach out for the first time, for those of you who are also in no contact situations with your person. But as they figure out these right words to say, they're going to come at you with an apology, an expression of their love, explaining everything to you about why they acted and behaved the way that they did, how they're suffering because of their mistakes, taking ownership of that. How their world is not the same without you in it. But then also telling you that they daydream about a future with you. They have visions about the two of you being together long term. About how they miss you and long for you. These are the things your person will say to you when they start initiating communication with you guys. I've been changing myself and my life. This is great news. Your person is undergoing a transformation. And as they acknowledge and realize that their mistakes are what caused the problems between you, things are going to change. They don't want to make those same mistakes. So for instance, if they weren't emotionally expressive, if they denied the connection, if they said they didn't love you, if they had no feelings, whatever it was, they're going to acknowledge their love for you. They'll express their feelings. They'll tell you the depth of their emotion for you. If they were not comfortable being vulnerable with you before, they will be vulnerable. They are not going to want to make these same mistakes. Your person is changing. They're getting rid of what no longer serves them in their life or in this connection. So for some of you, it could even be if your person has been dealing with a third party or a karmic situation, please only take this, if it resonates with you and your situation, this tells us that in order to change their life, they're getting rid of that karmic, of that ex, 
of the person who's dragging them down. They're getting rid of people, toxic people, dysfunctional people, and behaviors that have caused them to mess this connection between the two of you up. But also, the rest of their life could also be affected in a very positive way by changing their life and changing themselves. So this is positive, very positive for your person. They're undergoing change and transformation. This is the hangman. They can see clearly now. They see a lot clearer than what they've ever been able to see before. But the hangman also tells us that the situation between you and your person may have been stuck for a while, but it's getting unstuck. Your person sees things from a different perspective. They see things a lot more clearly now than what they did when the two of you were together before. They're changing. They're changing themselves. They're changing their life. And as they have suffered through their mistakes and recognizing that their world is not the same without you in it, these are the things that woke them up, caused them to have this sense of clarity, to be able to see much clearer than they were able to see before. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? This is the lovers. Your person is making a decision about love. So if things have been stuck between the two of you and the hangman can indicate that things have been at a standstill. With the lovers, this is about your person making a decision for love. The lovers is a union of hearts and a union of souls. Perhaps your person finally understands and recognizes that you are soulmates or twin flames. There's an awareness in your person that the two of you belong together, especially with that lover's card popping up next to the hangman. And your person is going to start taking action to start rebuilding your connection, to get your relationship moving forward to this place of union with each other. This is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of transition. Your person is going through a transition in their life. They're getting ready to start reaching out and bridging this gap here that's between the two of you. The Six of Swords is also a card of communication. So if you haven't heard from your person, the Six of Swords tells us that they're making a decision to reach out. They know that they want to talk to you. They have to find the right words to say. The Six of Swords also tells us that after a period of storms and difficulties and problems and turbulence in a connection and being in a place of separation can feel like there's a lot of turbulence here between the two of you right now. Right, guys? It tells us that you're coming to a place of calmness, peace, and tranquility with your person. And that can only happen if your person is making this decision here for love your person misses you they long for you they want to spend time with you they're daydreaming about you they're dreaming about you at night and they wake up in the morning and you are on their mind your person acknowledges all the mistakes they've made in their behavior and their actions towards you and they are going to do what it takes to make things right between you because they don't want to lose you again. This is your reading for today, guys. If you enjoyed the reading today, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and type 1111 to claim this reading. Thank you all so much for watching.